2020 will go down as the worst year in history for aviation. The unprecedented air transport crisis sparked by the fast spreading COVID-19 virus was first reported in Wuhan, China in December 2019, a chilling sign of just how quickly the COVID-19 pandemic engulfed the world and how the aviation industry went from worrying about the disruption to traffic to and within China to grounding 95% of flights worldwide. Jobs are being wiped out at airlines worldwide and depending on how recovery from nationwide shutdowns are handled, there may be still worse to come. In Africa, every metric predicted by the International Air Transport Association, IATA, on Africa's aviation industry and economies has worsened sharply compared to previous estimates reported during the height of the pandemic. For instance, job losses in aviation and related industries could increase by up to 3.5 million. That is more than half of Africa's 6.2 million aviation-related employment. This new figure is 400,000 more than the previous estimate. Full year 2020 traffic is expected to plummet by 54%. This translates to about 80 million passenger journeys compared to 2019. That is 3% more than the previous estimate. GDP supported by aviation in the region could fall by up to 35 billion US dollars, a whopping 7 billion US dollars more than IATA previously estimated. The COVID crisis has devastated African economies and brought air connectivity across the continent to a virtual standstill, and the economic consequences resulting from a disconnected continent are severe. In this episode of Reason Africa, we explored the hardest hit aviation sectors in Africa. Fourteen point five million fewer passengers, resulting in a three point zero two billion US dollar revenue loss, risking two hundred and fifty two thousand one hundred jobs, and five point one billion US dollars in contribution to South Africa's economy. Four point seven million fewer passengers, resulting in a nine hundred and ninety nine million US dollar revenue loss, risking one hundred and twenty five thousand four hundred jobs and zero point eight nine billion dollars in contribution to Nigeria's economy. Ethiopia risks 2.5 million fewer passengers, resulting in a 0.43 billion US dollar revenue loss, risking 500,000 jobs and 1.9 billion US dollars in contribution to Ethiopia's economy. Kenya risks 3.5 million fewer passengers, resulting in a 0.73 billion US dollar revenue loss, risking 193,000 jobs and 1.6 billion US dollars in contribution to Kenya's economy. Tanzania risks 1.5 million fewer passengers, resulting in a 0.31 billion US dollar revenue loss, risking 336,000 jobs and 1.5 billion US dollars in contribution to Tanzania's economy. Mauritius risks 2.1 million fewer passengers, resulting in a 0.54 billion US dollar revenue loss, risking 73,000 jobs and $2 billion in contribution to Mauritius' economy. Mozambique risks 0.7 million fewer passengers, resulting in a 0.13 billion US dollar revenue loss, risking 126,400 jobs and a 0.2 billion US dollars in contribution to Mozambique's economy. Mm -hmm. 
Ghana risks 1.5 million fewer passengers, resulting in a 0.38 billion US dollar revenue loss, risking 284,000 jobs and 1.6 billion US dollars in contribution to Ghana's economy. Senegal risks 1.3 million fewer passengers, resulting in a 0.33 billion US dollar revenue loss, risking 156,000 jobs and 0.6 billion US dollars in contribution to Senegal's economy. Cape Verde risks 1.2 million fewer passengers, resulting in a 0.2 billion US dollar revenue loss, risking 46,000 jobs and 0.48 billion US dollars in contribution to Cape Verde's economy. To minimize the impact on jobs on the broader African economy and an accelerated recovery of air transport across the continent is vital. Our desire to inspire a passion for learning about Africa runs deep. If you'd like to have some better understanding of the continent, start now by subscribing and hit the little red bell on the side to get notified every time we post. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.